Zap, 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 lightning, zap, zap, lightning, lightning, fader. Hello, it's me, the Lego Dude, and in today's video, I'll be talking about the January Lego Star Wars set wave, which has had half of the sets delayed, and only half of the sets have been released. The three culprits are the Clone Trooper minifigure pack, the Hoth minifigure pack, and the Ahsoka Wickheads, which have all been delayed. The three sets that have come out, though, are the Hoth Battle Pack, the Hoth ATST, and the Wazer Quest Michael Fighter. Before we go any farther though, I want to give a shout out to two of my subscribers. This guy and also TMB Productions who's been a huge supporter of the channel. So please subscribe to his channel so he can get to 250 subscribers. Now jumping back into the video, I find it kind of strange that half the sets were cancelled but half of the sets were released. The only thing I can think of was that they only had half of the sets actually produced and the other half were going to be produced within supply chain issues or something messed up, meaning they only had a few units available. And if they only had a few units available, this would have caused the problem where the first people to lego.com would have bought up all the available units then would have sold them as third party sellers for an extremely high price that people would have had to buy if they wanted the set because since that was the only available way to get it because there was only a small quantity of these sets actually produced. Either that or all three of those sets had some issues with the design or something but I don't think that's why because I've seen reviews of these sets to people who have been sent these sets early and the sets seem to be completely fine and I'm pretty sure if any of them had seen anything structurally wrong with the sets they would have said something about it. But now that we're done with my theories about what could have gone wrong I want to talk about something that Lego messed up on. They didn't tell us that they were canceling these sets so people who went to go buy them who would have had to drive or walk for a long time when they got to the Lego store to buy these sets they couldn't get them because they weren't available and since lego didn't say they weren't going to be available these people just went there and wasted lots of their time on doing nothing pretty much if lego said that they weren't going to have these sets on time that would have been okay but since they didn't say it, it's very disappointing and wasted lots of people's time it's also just disappointing because lots of people were anticipating the clone trooper minifigure pack as there's lots of prequel fans who want to see lego clone troopers and stuff based off the prequels because lego doesn't make that many sets based off the prequels well that's my opinion on this leave your opinion in the comment section down below also please subscribe and leave a like on this video bye created by the lego dude produced by the lego dude directed by the lego dude paid for by the lego dude edited by the lego dude thank you for watching please subscribe and leave a like